Hey folks, happy Monday. It's February 13th at the time we were recording this video. And I have been talking a lot about Tears of the Kingdom. I've been talking about it a lot really since it was unveiled back in 2019. But especially since the trailer last week. I mean, I'm looking at my channel. The last uh, four videos were Tears of the Kingdom. So, I mean, what a surprise that we're talking about Tears of the Kingdom again today. No, we are not just a Zelda channel. I forgive you for thinking that's what we are. We do make other types of content and we cover lots of other news. Obviously, since the Nintendo Direct, there hasn't been a ton of news out there. We do have some updates maybe on Metroid or something to get into. Maybe I'll, that's something I'll cover later today because the Metro Prime remaster is also absolutely amazing and we need to talk about that. But here's the thing. The more I cover Tears of the Kingdom, and I'll be making lots of news videos, theory videos, uh, live streams, etc. about this game all the way up to launch, including a massive you know, launch special where we'll be streaming the game like every day for a week. I am a bit flabbergasted over some of the reactions every time I make a tweet, every time I make a video about Tears of the Kingdom. Now, I want to be extremely clear. A vast majority of reactions are wholly positive. Most of you are super excited for Tears of the Kingdom and really looking forward to it. And some of you might even be more hyped than I am. I don't even know how that's possible, but some of you probably are. Some of you might be literally counting down the days as if your life depends upon it. That's what I mean by some of you might be more hyped than I am. I'm not counting down the days that my life depends on it. I'm just counting down the days because I'm excited. But here's the thing. There seems to be a number of people that are coming out of the woodworks to hate on Tears of the Kingdom. And a lot of that hate seems to stem from hating on Breath of the Wild. We have reached that point in the Breath of the Wild, and I guess we'll say Tears of the Kingdom life cycle, where it is now in vogue to hate on what is literally one of the greatest games of all time. Now, Whenever I make a statement like that, greatest game of all time, or, you know, Breath of the Wild is the best game ever made, or Tears of the Kingdom could be, I'm clearly talking about an opinion. In case it's not clear, any statements of this is the best thing ever, and it's about a video game, is a subjective statement. I shouldn't need to note, in my opinion, every single time on something that is so blatantly and obvious a subjective statement so when i tell you that breath of the wild is the greatest video game ever made clearly that's just from my perspective you can disagree and that's fine in fact this video is highly likely due to the title and thumbnail going to draw people that actually hate breath of the wild and yes some of those people are hardcore zelda fans that love a certain type of zelda games in a certain way and don't even think breath of the wild is a zelda game others will just be fans of other platforms or other video game series that want to find a way to diminish breath of the wild and i want to be clear me saying things like breath of the wild is the greatest game of all time doesn't diminish horizon forbidden west and doesn't you know Zero Dawn. It doesn't. It, it doesn't diminish God of War Ragnarok. It doesn't diminish Elden Ring. All of these games are epic and amazing and awesome. Heck, it doesn't diminish your favorite Zelda game. Maybe it's Twilight Princess. Maybe it's Wind Waker. Maybe it's A Link to the Past or Zelda One or Ocarina of Time. Majora's Mask. Whatever. Whatever your favorite Zelda game is, it doesn't diminish that for me to say that Breath of the Wild is the greatest game of all time. I'm saying that from my perspective. Nothing I say has to match your perspective. And I think that's key to remember as we are getting closer and closer to Tears of the Kingdom coming out that we're getting a lot of vitriol thrown at Breath of the Wild and conversely, Tears of the Kingdom. What's interesting, of course, is that we don't really know a ton about Tears of the Kingdom even now. You want to throw that out as a criticism about, about Nintendo's marketing? I can understand that. But also... I also look at this in the other light where the number one thing I am seeing said about Tears of the Kingdom in the negative is it looks like more Breath of the Wild. More Breath of the Wild. It's basically DLC for Breath of the Wild. It's more Breath of the Wild. And I sat there and I used to let those comments bother me. But the more I sit and reflect on them, the more I think it's a compliment. 
It's an underhanded one. It's meant to insult. But how is more of the greatest game ever made bad? I, that, that, that to me is where I have a hard time connecting the dots. Outside of the fact that we fundamentally don't know that it's exactly like Breath of the Wild, but the number one arguments for that are typically art direction's the same and it takes place in the same world, as if we haven't had that happen many times of many other games. In fact, this same narrative actually popped up around God of War 2018 and God of War Ragnarok. Uh, this, ar this argument actually popped up way back in the day when Witcher 3 came out, which takes place in part of the same world as Witcher 2, etc., etc., etc. I think Skyrim and, El uh, and Elder Scrolls Oblivion actually takes place a little bit in the same world as well. I have to go back and look. Uh, it's been a while since I've played any of the Oblivion franchise, the Elder Scrolls franchise, the Oblivion franchise. It's the Elder Scrolls! Come on, Nate, you know better. And it's also interesting, of course, when people take something I say sometimes and make some inference out of it. Now, these aren't haters. These people are just trying to correct me, right? In the last video, we talked about a survey that Nintendo was doing for Tears of the Kingdom. And in there, it mentioned making platforms. And I said, I don't remember that. I was talking specifically about Tears of the Kingdom uh, I don't remember them showing the making of platforms in any of the Tears of the Kingdom footage. But naturally, people just went, well, that was in Breath of the Wild. That was Cryonis. How can you even be a, a, a Nintendo video content creator? You must suck because you didn't know about... Of course, I know about Cryonis. I'm literally playing Breath of the Wild Master Mode right now. You think I'm dumb? Of course, I use Cryonis literally every day right now. I know what it is. I was talking about how we don't have an ability like that so far in Tears of the Kingdom. So I thought maybe that was a potential leak for Tears of the Kingdom that we will have a similar ability sort of like we have the arm that doesn't look like it's a magnet this time but we can certainly lift things and move objects around like we could with the magnet so anyways magnesis to be clear yes i even know the name of the abilities get out of here with this don't know what i'm talking about stuff that being said i want to focus more on the hate this game is getting and why i think it's just it's silly look I don't care if you like Breath of the Wild. I don't care if you like Tears of the Kingdom. I want to make that clear. What your opinion is about the game doesn't impact mine. But what I don't understand is this incessant need for us to shove our opinions down the throats of those that disagree with us. Look, this is my channel, right? On my channel, I think that Breath of the Wild is the best game of all time, the greatest game ever made. A sequel to that is naturally going to really excite me. And if you're going to tell me, oh, it's a lot like Breath of the Wild, I'm going to look you in the face and go, oh, so it's like the greatest game of all time, but maybe even better, making it the greatest game of all time. I think I can live with that. I'm good. But it's when people respond to me, respond to my videos, and come at me to tell me how I'm wrong and how bad Breath of the Wild is, then I start to just... I uh, want to know what the point is. You're not going to drag me down to agree with you. Obviously, we're on completely opposite ends of the spectrum. I'm also not going to your content, your videos, your tweets, your whatever, when you put out statements about how you dislike Breath of the Wild and responding to you because it's your opinion to dislike Breath of the Wild. But when you come at me, it always feels like you're coming at me. It's interesting when I respond to some comments sometimes directly and people will go, well, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about, well, you responded directly to my video, not directly to people on my video. Context matters, right? How am I supposed to know you're talking to anyone else but me when I made a video and you commented on my video, right? So look, obviously Tears of the Kingdom is going to be fire. It's going to slap. Uh, as a Zelda game by the main Zelda team, never slapped. I mean, even Zelda 2 Love Zelda 2, by the way. It's my second favorite Zelda game of all time. But the thing is, even though some people didn't like that, back in the 80s and 90s, that thing still slapped. In fact, it's one of the best-selling Zelda games of all time for a reason. That game still slapped. Even Triforce Heroes that you know some of you guys don't like. Hey, in the right setting with the right people, it's still a hell of a lot of fun and can absolutely slap. Heck, I think Phantom Hourglass is a really bad game. Not just a bad Zelda game, a bad game. And yet, and yet, admittedly, there are moments in it, like in boss fights, that slap. I trust the Zelda team. And maybe trust is an issue many of us have, right? It's hard to trust people. It's hard to trust individuals. It's hard to trust our children. Hard to trust our bosses and coworkers, right? But... I just, 
This is the team that made the first one that was amazing. Of course, I trust them to do amazing with the next one until they give me a reason not to trust them. Now, if you're someone that is upset because we haven't had traditional dungeons confirmed, look, I'm just going to burst your bubble right now. We're probably not going to get traditional dungeons in Tears of the Kingdom. Not saying we won't have dungeons. We technically had dungeons in Breath of the Wild, right? The shrines were sort of mini dungeon replacements, and then each of the four divine beasts were supposed to be essentially normal dungeons. Obviously, they use similar aesthetic with similar looking bosses, even though the boss mechanics were different. So a lot of you guys just, you know, got a little bored, I guess, with that idea and that concept. But the but but the idea of these long-winded multiple three, four, five, six hour dungeons like Twilight Princess, nine of them. I just don't foresee that coming. And maybe that's going to upset you. Maybe there'll be seven dungeons for the seven tiers. Maybe there'll be no dungeons. I just, Breath of the Wild was brilliant. 97 overall on Metacritic, one of the highest rated games of all time. And in my opinion, the best game of all time. And it did that without traditional dungeons. I'm not saying I don't want traditional dungeons to come back. Personal opinion, I'd love to see some of them come back. I just... Breath of the Wild was a game that broke with tradition, so why would Tears of the Kingdom go backwards? Instead, I think it should evolve forwards. It should take what the shrines were. It should take what the Divine Beasts were. It should take what the breakable item system was. It should take what even the Sheikah Slate abilities are. It should take all these new things and find other ways to advance them in the new method. I just don't think they should go backwards. I think that kind of defeats the purpose, right? Breath of the Wild was all about the new. So why would we want to go backwards with the new? I mean, one of the most controversial additions of Tears of the Kingdom isn't even like the fact that there might not be traditional dungeons that upsets people. It's the vehicles, right? Most people seem to like the flying vehicle. They don't like the lawnmower. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it. Uh, it's too wide. It looks too weird. It looks too silly. Some people want that to be gone. Look, let's just wait. We don't have the full context of that ability. Also, if you remember horses and breath of the wild right we all had them how often were you really using horses so i kind of liken it to we might have this ground you know car thing we could drive how often are we really going to be using it when we traverse the world i mean it's what's it useful in just giant open plains and there's not a ton of giant open plains in hyrule so i'm not so sure that the item's even that useful on the ground anyways it's just one of those things that's like a horse. It's an option, but you're probably not really going to use it much. I think it's a, a bunch of complaining about one specific uh, thing that doesn't matter. I, I haven't seen a lot of complaints about the flying one. Um, I mean, I guess some people wanted loft wings instead or something, but hey, it, it's very obvious we're not getting loft wings, right? Like, I think, I think all the theories on that can go out the door. Anyways, we're always going to get off track because I'm talking about Tears of the Kingdom, and I could talk about a billion different things with it. I just, I want us... We're not all going to get along. The people who dislike Breath of the Wild are going to dislike Tears of the Kingdom. The people who love Breath of the Wild, like myself, are going to love Tears of the Kingdom. And that's kind of the way we are. This isn't about the price point or anything else. We're just talking strictly about the game itself. So if you're someone who dislikes Breath of the Wild, here is an option I want to give you. Stop watching my Tears of the Kingdom content. Or at least stop commenting on it. Because you're not doing anyone any good. You're not doing yourself any good because you're torturing yourself with something you don't like. And you're not doing the people who love it any good because you're sort of just annoying the people that do love it, having to read comments about how bad something is. How bad something is that we barely know anything about. So you guys are awesome and amazing for the most part. Uh, I just, I, I've just had a few uh, little Twitter comments over this over the weekend because it's just been been irking me. And until I get that thing that irks me off my chest, I can't move on to the next. So we'll move on to the next year. we got other things to cover besides Zelda. Hope to get a second video out for you guys today on some of that stuff. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next video.